the moment we showed the Lexus Sport Coupe concept at the Tokyo Motor Show, the word was out. Well, now I can confirm the obvious. A new SC430 convertible, which is closely based on this concept vehicle, uh, will go on sale in March of 2001. Team One, the ad agency behind the 2001 launch of the Lexus SC430, a sexy sport convertible complete with retractable hard top, has come to learn a thing or two about desire. Team One found two primary factors that influence a person's decision to buy a car. The rational reasons, considered the right reasons, and the emotional reasons, considered the real reasons. Toyota knew from its consolidated dynamic study that their Lexus brand was successful in hitting the rational reasons. Quality, dependability, and reliability. Workmanship and manufacturer reputation. However, emotionally, they found consumers describing the brand as conservative, traditional, even boring in some cases. With the launch of this sexy new convertible, the SC430, obviously Toyota wanted to change those emotional perceptions. The SC430 was developed specifically to be the emotional flagship for the Lexus brand, to make a connection with the buyer beyond the rational and inject more passion into the pursuit of perfection. Exploratory research tracked current trends in the luxury convertible segment, including key dynamics like brand dominance, model leadership, user needs and wants, and segment imagery. The luxury coupe segment has a lot of big names. Corvette, the segment leader, as well as cars like the Jaguar XKB, the Mercedes CLK, and the Porsche Boxster. To introduce something eye-catching and innovative into a tough segment like this requires a lot of research to find out all the factors driving consumer decisions. Team One used syndicated research from Allison Fisher International LLC to assess the 25-plus coupe or convertible body style vehicles in the luxury coupe segment. Data was compiled and analyzed utilizing three trademarked research tools. The Automotive Intentions and Purchases Study, which tracks car and truck demand each quarter, provides a means to anticipate strong or weak demand early in the purchase cycle. Results can also be linked to brand equity, as well as to actual shopping and purchase behavior. The Automotive Shopping Study examines recent internet and dealership shopping activity and shows how the retail process interacts with demand and actual sales performance. This study data provides a behavioral basis for automotive market segmentation. The Advanced Automotive Feature Study measures the purchase interest for automotive features among new vehicle intenders. This study serves as both a tracking instrument for existing options and a means for evaluating new automotive features and technologies. In addition to research that Allison Fisher compiled, Team One also used R.L. Polk & Company, an automotive intelligence company, to track sales trends in the luxury coupe and luxury convertible segments as well as Toyota's own consolidated dynamic study data to compare how people viewed the Lexus Sports Coupe versus, say, a Corvette or a Jaguar. Team One found that styling and performance were the primary motivators, but that the previous entry into that segment had not registered on those attributes. This was something that had to be addressed if the SC430 was to be successful in repositioning the Lexus brand. The Team One Lexus team saw their research pay off at the New York Auto Show when the SC430 was unveiled. One account manager remembers clearly a jaw dropping to their knees look on the faces of attendees at the show. When interviewed on the spot about their emotional response to the sexy new convertible, visitors' responses validated the key assumptions of earlier research. Toyota experienced an enthusiastic reception to the SC430 and Team One was pleased to see that all the research was lining up with what people were telling them. As a follow-up, Team One brought 154 people to Dallas, Texas to do some further research and to test their reactions to the SC430 versus its competition. Team One also brought in the Greco Research Group, 
to facilitate some focus groups, asking participants how they would describe the typical driver of the SC430, in categories like financial security, affluence, professional success, and status consciousness. Team One also had Thompson Consulting there, asking participants to literally sort images, everything from tigers to sailboats, to identify which matched their perception of the Lexus SC430. Research revealed that the SC430 was able to seduce buyers with its styling, luxury, performance, and fun. One word, seduction, became the word to encapsulate the campaign. And what better way to epitomize seduction and romance than the French language, stylishly used to ask English-speaking audiences, parlez-vous désir? Do you speak desire? Research found desire to be the prevailing emotional response to the SC430. The ads were actually tremendously successful. Allison Fisher post-launch tracking showed results like distinctive looking, sporty, luxurious, excellent acceleration, and excellent handling. Diagnostic research used something called a clutter reel, which showed viewers the Lexus ad in the middle of a group of advertising, and they got responses like sexy and seductive, alluring, sophisticated, distinctly styled. Internet visits to the Lexus website, Lexus.com, jumped 56% over the month previous to advertising and generated 300,000 visitors to the SC430 site. Most importantly, sales met or exceeded the sales objective in each of the seven months following the launch. For their efforts, the SC430 research team was awarded the 2002 ARF David Ogilvy Award for Excellence in Advertising Research. Dubbed the Cabriolet Nouveau campaign, the SC430 launch is a testament to the power of qualitative and quantitative research in repositioning a brand, as well as to the creative spirit that infuses all great advertising. Parlez-vous désir? For Lexus and Team One Advertising, the answer is oui, très bien.